customize the frame so we added a new frame so we can delete the smart object linked to the old frame and now the frame is structured like this we can also close this all right so we have first the smart object this is where you will add your art content and once you click save or press command plus s or control s and close it then you get your smart object updated here so i will put it back to white and here you will see some color layers so those color layers are actually representing the different areas of your frame you can use the color layers if you want but they also have some masks Oops. okay so they have some mask that i can see when i press alt and click on the layer on the mask layer i press alt or option on mac and um, yes so if i just want to customize that part of the frame i can use that mask if i want to customize the entire wood of the frame i can use the two mask here we have a mask for the mat board so the selection happens when i click on the mat board and i press command or control and the last mask is for the picture area here and lastly we have the best layers which is only this one so i press alt and the visibility button to hide and display only that layer below that we have the object reflection you can use it uh, as you want you can turn it into a pixelated layer or you can use it as a smart object and blur it to match the surface the object is on top with and you have the shadow the shadow is customizable you can change the color of the shadow you can um, do whatever you want with it according to the possibilities photoshop is offering you can change the mask so let's say that we want here to make the wood darker or brighter so what i can do is press the, the key command or control and i click on those two masks Ah, sorry you have to press the key command and shift or control and shift and you press on those two masks once they are once it, the selection is complete you select the base layer and you add a curves layer effect and you can change like this you can make it a little bit brighter you 
you can make it a little bit darker uh, maybe even more if you want you can reduce the saturation so I will select the curve la the curve layer and I will add a U saturation layer and I will press the touch the, the key alt and I will drag and drop that mask here. Then I select the the layer and I can change the saturation. I can also change the color if I want. So that's it for this video.